Hi guys, this is a quick video talking about how to prime a Buretrol. I know in the adult classes you have been uh, priming regular IV tubing. In our PEDS course, I introduced you to what a Buretrol looks like, and so now we are going to prime one. So, you've got your Buretrol. It's got two roller clamps, one at the top that will go to the bag, and one down below that will keep what's going to the patient. So both of them need to be turned off before you actually spike your bag on here or you are going to get a whole lot of fluid and air in your line that you don't need. So um, get your fluids because you don't have two or three arms or <laughs> you do have two arms, but because you don't have three or four arms, let's hold it um, on an IV pole or a hook or something to kind of help you. Um, you are going to spike your tubing without going through the side of it. All right, so now it's spiked, but you notice it's not running because I have this roller clamp clamped. To prime this Buretrol, it takes about 20 mils. So what I'm gonna tell you is you wanna put more than 20 in there because if not, you're going to inevitably get air in your line. So open your roller clamp till you get to about 25, 30. Again, not rocket science here. Um, there's no magic number. You just wanna give yourself a little bit extra so that way as you're priming, you don't get air in your line. All right, once you've gotten enough fluid in there, turn that roller clamp back up and let's start the priming process. So you have this little chamber, it's called a drip chamber here underneath your Buretrol. You gotta squeeze it, okay? Squeeze it. And let some fluid get in here. If not, you're gonna get air in your line as you, as you begin to prime. And then from here on, we just are gonna go real slow and open your roller clamp here. And as you're opening your roller clamp, slowly, you're gonna slowly start seeing the fluid come down the tubing. I promise the slower you go, now granted, we're not like slow till Christmas or anything, but the slower you go, the less bubbles you're gonna get. If you just open it wide open, you're gonna end up with bubbles in your line. Now, one little bubble like this one right here, you see this one? Don't, don't stress over that. That's not gonna cause a pulmonary embolism, okay? But if you've got a whole line of bubbles, we, got, we gotta redo. So I'm watching my tubing. I'm watching the, um, the fluid get all the way to the end and boom, we have a primed IV Buretrol, okay? And I still have a little bit left over. So if I did have some bubbles, I could let a little bit more run, but a little bit left over is fine, okay? I'm gonna take off the blue port and now I can load this in my IV pump like so, okay? This goes on the top, this clicks in there. We close our door and we are ready to give an infusion through our beer trough.